how the machines are stopped. More importantly, what's that thing over there? Was that there when I first came here? A laptop? There's a laptop on top of the stopped conveyor belt. This wasn't here last time that I came, right? How suspicious. Mm, it looks suspicious. It might be good if we examine it thoroughly. Yeah, you're right. As soon as I touched it, some kind of program began running all of a sudden. And almost immediately, a video started playing. Hello there. Hello, everyone. Great work. So, you really found the bombs, huh? Believing in you is completely worth it. Nagito. Perhaps. It looks like a video message from him. You pissed me off. A video message? If he's got something to say, he can say it to our faces. Hey, bastard! Just hold on. For now, let's just watch this through to the end. Now then. Now that you guys have found the bombs, all you need to do is stop it. To tell you the truth, it's actually not that hard to do. You see, there's a card reader on top of the metal box. As long as you scan an e-handbook, it will disarm the bombs. Leave it to me! Alright, if that's the case, then just leave it to me. However... Well... It won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm that bomb... You have to use the traitor's student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So if things stay this way, it'll look like I lost, right? That's why I was thinking I should have another battle. So this is going to be your last chance, traitor. What are you going to do? Everyone's life depends on you. Whether or not you save them is up to you. Now then, I wonder how this is going to end. Will the traitor's identity finally be revealed? And with that, the video ended. Oh boy. The traitor's student handbook. Don't tell me! So that's it. This was also a trap to weed out the traitor. Hey, hey! Is there seriously a traitor? If there is, they should come forward already. I mean, their life's in danger too, you know? That's true, but... Yeah. Stop whining and complaining. We should do it one at a time. You... It, 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 don't be stupid. What if someone besides a traitor uses their handbook? Hey, hey. It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. And so, with an annoyed expression on her face, Chiaki walked over to the bombs without saying a word. Took her handbook out of her pocket. Aww. And without hesitating, swiped the card reader. Okay, so it's not her. Hmm. Looks like it was wrong. See? Who's next? What are you doing? If you make a mistake, the bombs might blow up. You think so? But they didn't. Hey! It's just a fluke. Don't act so careless in a situation like this. Anyway. Well, I guess it's not Chiaki. I don't think the traitor would have swiped their handbook right away like she did. Hmm. So what are we gonna do? What's the train next? Hey, hey, hey! Like I said, don't act so careless. Swiping the wrong card might be safe. But only once, you know. Huh? Hey, what happened? Well... N nothing. I might just be overthinking it, but the engine somehow sounds... Just then, Kazuchi's face turned pale as he rushed over to the truck. And as he tilted his head towards the engine, he suddenly shouted, <gasps> It's out of gas. What'd you say? Huh? 
What's gonna happen if there's no gas? I already told you, it's gonna blow! But isn't it too soon? I mean, there's still time until noon. Are you kidding me? Did Nagito miscalculate? You serious? Miscalculate? Nah, uh, if you're gonna set up, at least you get the calculations right, damn it. At least Monokuma knows how to keep a schedule. Are you serious? Can't we do anything about it? Is there something we can do? Yeah, yeah there's only one thing we could do. Huh? What is it? What do we have to do? Damn it. Pray? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> then we should run. <sighs> With those words, we started sprinting away. And that's when it happened. It is all right. It is not a bomb. What? All of a sudden, the inside of the factory began overflowing with dazzling light. Huh? Well, what the hell's this? Um, looks like they're fireworks. Fireworks? While we stood there dumbfounded, the fireworks slowly decreased their intensity. And eventually... Oh my! Um, this means... It wasn't a bomb? Huh? What the heck? I mean, Nagito said... Um... So... It is just as I thought. As you thought. Hey, hey! Hey everyone, look over there. The laptop. It looks like it's playing another video. Is it Nagito again? We immediately rushed over to the laptop. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. Damn it! <sighs> he did that to try to get the traitor to reveal themselves, but no one really stepped forward except Chiaki, and it's not her. <sighs> Damn it, so it was all a bluff. Then what about that bomb he detonated at the hotel? Um Nagito went to the octagon inside the funhouse, right? Don't tell me! Is that where he got that bomb? But it definitely wasn't strong enough to blow up an island, so Nagito was lying about that. Pissed me off. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how did he time his message so perfectly? Hmm. No, it looks like the video is set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. But why did he have to use a video message? That's the one thing I don't get. Hey, hey. Let's think about that after we watch the whole thing. You're right. Hey. So, how did it go? Did the traitor come forward? If I had to guess... Well, I'd say they didn't, right? So then, which is it? It'd make me very happy if you guys could tell me. I'll be at the warehouse next door waiting for your answer. From there, we'll compare our answers and I'll let you know who the traitor really is. See you later. The warehouse next door? That's where he is. I won't forgive you. <sighs> this time I'll make sure to beat the crap out of him, which I hope you don't, Akana, you freaking fool. That's right. Then I'll deliver the final blow and smash his head in with a wrench. Jeez. <sighs> you bastards, what are you saying? Bastard! You guys can just beat the shit out of him because I'm the one who's gonna fucking kill him. Mm, you guys have totally flipped your lids. Now's not the time to be calm, we need to stop them. That is an order! You are right, let us make haste. Huh? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the crap out of him. Hey, I know how you feel, but please calm down. Wait! Shut up. Huh? Everyone's feet came to a grinding halt. Their red angry faces instantly transformed into a look of caution. 
Not gonna. What is it? Huh. Can you hear something? It's something from the other side of this door. The other side of the door? As I listened carefully, I could make out a soft sound coming from inside the warehouse. Music? What's he planning? Is this... Another one of his traps? Huh? M maybe the moment we open the door, the real bomb's gonna go kaboom! Now then! Alright, let's open and find out. Huh? Please do not, Akane, it is dangerous! Yo! Fine, I'll open it slowly. No. That's not the problem. Leave it to me! Seriously, it'll be fine. <sighs> With those words, I kind of brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. It's locked. Huh? Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. Hey, hey! I knew it! It's a trap! Seriously, just stop it, okay? You? Didn't I tell you it'll be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What? What happening to opening it slowly? Ah, <sighs> she ignored their protests and with a mighty kick the door flew open. <laughs> Instinctively we tensed our bodies and braced ourselves. But Huh? What's this? What happened? Yo! Look inside. It sure is... dark. Looks like there aren't any lights on. Is Nagito really in here? The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were used to the bright sunlight outside. Within that darkness, a loud hymnal blurred throughout the warehouse at full volume. Hey, do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud! Does Nagito like listening to this depressing crap? No, I'm not talking about the music. As if on cue it suddenly started. What? It's on fire! Here's some blaze suddenly band dancing inside the dark warehouse like fiery wings spreading before us. Wow! What? What's going on? For now, we must extinguish these flames. Let us hurry and put them out. But now are we supposed to put this fire out? Um, there should be fire extinguishing supplies inside the factory break room. Perhaps we should use those? Damn it. Got it. Let's head over there. After listening to Sonia, we ran into the factory. Okay, okay. The break room's here, right? Where are the fire extinguishing supplies? Fire grenades... What? What is this crap? Is there really nothing in here except this? Huge supply of lined up plastic bottles. Looks like there's some kind of liquid inside them. Everyone. You found it! Those are fire grenades! Fire grenades? Mm. They're basic fire extinguishing goods. When you throw them at the fire, the container breaks and the chemical inside puts out the fire. It is strange, no? The last time I peeked inside this place, I recall seeing other fire extinguishing supplies too. Hey! This should be plenty, let's hurry up and go back to the warehouse. We grabbed all the grenades and rushed back. Make sure you don't get too close to the fire, it's dangerous. Then... Take care to not inhale the smoke as well. We should throw the grenades from the door at the same time. Damn it. Looks like the curtain in the back's burning out. I have to aim for that, right? I'm gonna do it! We aim for the curtain in the back and throw all the fire grenades one after another. But... Hey! Is it just me? Or does it feel like the fire's not going out at all? The curtain absorbed the impact of the thrown grenades, which fell on the floor and shattered. They were completely ineffective at extinguishing the burning curtain. Does it not seem like the fire is intensifying? If the fire continues to rise, it will inflame the ceiling! This is bad. We 
We've already used up all the fire grenades. Well, what are we gonna do? All we can do now is pray for rain! Don't be stupid! There's no way it'll conveniently start raining if we pray for it. It's raining? The... Did the f sprinklers go off? So this is the power of the Japanese territory, Bozu! That's not it. It looks like the sprinklers activated. Oh, the sprinklers. They must have detected the smoke and turned on. Water continued to vigorously pour up of the sprinklers. And after a while, the fire in the warehouse was completely extinguished. Looks like the fire is out. Um, that is a relief. The hell? Man, my march is drenched. You got spotted with water, now it's soaked. It's so wet. Hey, hey. Hey, is it okay to look inside now? Just a minute. Hmm? Uh, time out, time out, time out. You can't. Nah, no way. Why can't we go in? Hey, um... Smoke and hazardous gas are still spread throughout the warehouse, so... It's gotta ventilate for a while. Well, yeah. I guess you're right. It'd be a problem if we breathe in any lingering smoke. So... So, for the sake of your health, please wait for just a little while. While you're waiting, why don't you check out the Monokuma Theater? I'm freshly prepared. Oh, great. I don't want to watch this shit. You're so stupid! <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, now that the Monokuma Theater is over, I'm sure it's finished ventilating by now. Phew. Also, I'm finally starting to feel better. Just because my important merch was ruined doesn't mean I should be depressed about it forever. Whenever I feel depressed, I always ask myself this question. But hold on! Why are your eyes on the front? I got it! So we can move forward. Don't be sad about what's already happened, and be positive. Um, we get it already. Jeez. Enough with your bullshit. I'll leave the rest to you! Ah, I turn on the light for you guys too. You might hurt yourself, it's dark. Now, now, go ahead. Go right ahead. Ahead. Perhaps... Is Nagito inside? Hmm... He said... He was in his video message, but he probably escaped by now. <laughs> There's so much fire and smoke. And I thought we'd finally get to beat the crap out of him this time. Hey, hey! Well, why don't we go inside and see how it's doing? You... Hajime... What happened? Well, nothing happened, but... I don't know why. My heart is racing. It won't settle down. I'm scared. As if an intense malice is about to stab me. Stab me through my whole body. And I can't even budge. Feels like everything was too late. Why do I feel this anxious? Anyway, let's go in. <sighs> A charred odor permeated through the warehouse and the air was so heavy that it was hard to breathe. The moment I fit the moment I set foot inside, a mixture of bewilderment, anxiety, and fear overtook me at once. Not me. I am sorry. <laughs> what? You serious? Miss Sonia, say it ain't so. Hmm. No, it's not that. It's like a smell I've never smelled before. Like Well, it makes sense that there are strange smells when a bunch of different things are burned. Hey, hey. Everyone, did you know about that curtain? You mean the curtain that was on fire? 
What do you mean, no? See? I didn't notice it until the curtain was burning, but... There's a space on the other side of it. When I looked where she was pointing, there is a still s there is a still space beyond the burned, tattered curtain. I walked towards the burned, tattered curtain with slow, methodical steps. I never experienced such an oppressive atmosphere before, and I couldn't help holding my breath. And then on the other side. I saw the true source of the intense malice that I'd been feeling. No. Why? I'm sorry, but this is really disgusting. Why? Why him of all people? I don't care how deranged he was, no one deserved this. I had no idea what I was looking at. By the time I realized I was looking at the remains of Nagito Komeara, the ultimate lucky student, time had already stopped. Eventually, the shock finally registered with me. A numb feeling spread from the center of my brain almost instantly. Nagito is dead. Even when I saw this before me, I wasn't able to comprehend that reality yet. Dead? He's not pretending to be dead, is he? I mean, it's Nagito, you know? That's right, it's Nagito. He always messed with us. He always tried to confuse us. That's why I can't believe it. Nagito ended up in such a cruel state. Nagito's dead. Deep down, I believed. That when the killings finally ended, I'd never see him again. I never expected to be looking at his body like this. Nagito probably thought the same thing. I couldn't help seeing it in his dead, frightened face. But on this island, unbelievably abnormal occurrences happen all the time. And Nagito couldn't escape that truth. But even something as small as that. A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! You know what? I really thought Nagito was going to be an endgame character, but... By the way this was going, I had a feeling he was going to be killed off. I don't like the way it was done, it was just, it's too cruel to look at. Don't tell me! The body discovery announcement, then it's for real. Hey! He's really dead? Damn it! That he's dead if the body discovery announcement was made, does that mean he was killed? Killed? That's right! Plus, it's one of us. I mean, that's what it means, right? One of us killed him. One of us killed him so brutally. 
then it's gonna start again. Huh? This class trial's gonna start soon, right? Then... Of course! Yep, you gotta do it. You gotta figure out who Nagito's killer is. Hey! Hey! No matter who you guys sacrifice, you're determined to survive and leave this island, right? I was hoping to leave the island with Nagito, but now I'm just... Part of me is really hoping that that's somehow not him. Somehow. But... <sighs> then time for action is now! So, allow me to give you a familiar Monokuma fight. Hold it right there. Ugh, don't get him away like that. I was about to whip out the Monokuma file in such a cool way. You stupid brother. I can't stand this anymore. How much longer are you going to keep putting them through this? No more. I won't let you. I'll make sure I pulverize your evil intentions. Hey, hey. Say something. What's this? Oh. Now I remember who you are. You're Monomi. You just now noticed? Lie. Anyway, Monomi, if you're gonna talk about my intentions, why don't you talk about yours first? <laughs> what are your intentions anyway? Why are you keeping everyone cooped up on the island? I'm sure everyone here wants to know too, you know. <laughs> no fair, you're shutting up too. We already have enough to deal with concerning Nagito. Please do not say something else that would confuse us. Hey. Let's begin. Hmm? But... This is just... I mean, in the end, we still have to do it, right? As long as the killing happens, we can't do anything about it, right? We have no choice but to do it, right? Besides, it's our fault that we couldn't even prevent it. Ugh. That's the only way we can survive, right? Nice! Hmm, looks like you kids are way more well behaved than Monoe. Don't fuck with me! We're tired of this too, you know. That's why I'll definitely make sure to finish this for good this time. This is kind of depressing. Ah, does that mean you guys are getting bored of the school trip? Actually, Don't worry, the end's near. The end? What's the matter? Don't make a face like a pig that's about to become bacon. You've already noticed it, right? <laughs> and the meaning behind that Monokuma timer. Um, I guess there's only two days left, huh? When that timer reaches zero. Two days from now, what will happen to us? Mm -hmm. Hmm? The killing school trip will be over. Hey, hey. If this will all be over, you serious? does that mean we can go home? What are you gonna do? Don't count your bears before they've hatched. It's just something you gotta do before that, right? So, once again. Yes, need to find out who Nagito's killer is and survive the class trial. This ends here, there won't be an afterword at all. Do your best. Wait! I won't forgive you! I won't let you escape this time. Wait right there! Hmm. What do you guys think? If the school trip is nearly at an end, it's safe to think that we can go home, right? But still. Kazuichi, I understand how you feel, but we need to focus on Nagito first. Damn it! Even if we can go home, it'll be the end for us if we screw up here. Alright! Let's hurry up and solve Nagito's case so we can go home. However... It is nice to think everyone could go home, but... That is impossible, right? I mean, someone in this room killed Nagito. There's a killer among us. The weight of those words began to sink into me. That was true of the previous cases, but... 
was it really true this time? No matter how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. Because the victim was not lethal. Because his death was so abnormally cruel. No, it wasn't just that. There was something more to it than that. And whatever it was, it was stuck inside me. First, we need to look at the Monokuma file. <sighs> the victim is Nagito Komeda. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma plushie factory. The estimated time of death is believed to be at noon sharp. Not only is there spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. What a tragic situation. Just reading this is making me depressed. Huh? Is there something wrong with this Monokuma file? What's wrong with it? Not only is there a spear stab in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Yep. It's definitely weird. Well, I guess I'll find out if I look around. That's what the investigation's for. Don't worry or form conclusions on your own. That makes me more worried than it should be. We can discuss it later. Right now is our only chance to investigate. So we should investigate first. See? If we don't, there won't be anything for us to discuss. Well, I guess you're right. Then let's start with the area surrounding his body. I should start with the back of the warehouse. Since the curtain blocked most of the water, this arrow isn't affected by the sprinklers that much. Thanks to that, I can properly... Thanks to that, I can properly investigate his body. <sighs> I... I don't know, I can't. I don't know how to feel about this. The way he was killed was just too cruel compared to everything I've ever seen so far in the series. If it really was one of the characters, I... I can't. I never thought I'd have to investigate his body. He probably didn't expend to end up like this either. I never expected him to die like this. He was always spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. But even so, dying like this is just too cruel. <clears throat> also, he wasn't completely useless. There were times where we were only able to reach the truth because of him. But everything good and bad about him is gone. We'll never be confused by him again. We'll never be saved by him again. No. Now's the time to think about necessary things. I need to focus on the investigation right now. <sighs> For now, I need to investigate everything about the body that catches my eye. Oh, where to even start? A spear of the flashy ornament is on it is impaled deeply into his stomach. Mm. There's no way around it. Looks like it's the fatal wound. What's this? Oh my, what's this? Such a strange looking spear, isn't it? The cord extends from the tip of the handle, and there's an iron weight attached to it. I see. You could use the cord to whip to capture the enemy and deliver the final blow with the spear. Is this your first time looking at it too? <clears throat> Nurse! Of course not. Um, this is a spear of gun gear, right? Gun... A spear of gun gear? 
That what was killed. That's what was used to kill um Mukuro in the first game. You definitely just came up with that just now. Hey, hey. By the way, I wanted to ask you, where did that spear come from? Um, I feel like I saw it at Nozumi Castle. The castle. What the hell? It's designed to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. <laughs> Damn you, mice! Damn you all to hell! I see, so even he doesn't know what's in there. Well, more importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. The spirit definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord coming out of the handle. Looks like that part has blood on it, too. But for some reason, this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. It's about the size of a human fist. It's strange that this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. Also, Chucky mentioned this earlier, but apparently it came from the castle. Might be better if I confirm that later. <sighs> he must have been in great pain. He clearly had this agonizing look on his face when he died. His mouth is covered with duct tape, and was just to keep Nagito from screaming for help. This is bad. Yeah, what a horrible look on his face. The blood splattered all over doesn't help either. It's a good thing his mouth is covered with duct tape, otherwise I wouldn't be able to look at him. You got a minute? Sorry, excuse me. Chucky moved past Kazuchi and me and squatted down next to his face. And with one swift movement, she ripped the duct tape off of his mouth. What are you doing? It's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. I'll put it back right away once I'm done investigating here. Hey, hey, hey. Putting the tape back isn't the issue. You ungrateful swine, you're gonna get cursed! Blood on Nagito's face. It looks like it mostly came from the slice on his left arm. If that's the case... Mm. It's no use, she's not listening. Hey, hey. Hey, how about the blood splattered on his face? There's no blood under the duct tape. Huh? What's wrong with that? Well... This duct tape has crinkles like it was sticking toward the inside of his mouth, right? Nagito was probably desperately moving his mouth under the duct tape. Seriously, what's wrong with that? She means Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he got those wounds all over his body. So he tried to shout, which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth a bit. But what's wrong with that? Is that something we really need to worry about? I don't really get it, but just put the duct tape back on his mouth already. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, this might be some kind of clue, too. I should remember it. The knife was stabbed through his right hand. Did the killer do this? How could they do something so cool? This knife. It must be from the military base. Military base? Now that you mention it, you're right. It looks like a survival knife. Well? By the way, it seems the wounds on the legs and left arm are caused by the same knife. <sighs> Which means after the killer was finished stabbing his legs and arm, I stabbed the knife through his hand. It cannot be! And then they finished him off with the spear. How cruel. Does, then does that mean the killer went to the trouble of using two weapons, a knife and a spear? But they could have just killed him by stabbing him with a knife. Why did they need to use a spear at all? You are right. That is definitely strange. Was there a reason they had to use it? A reason they had to use a spear, huh? 
To me, it seems like whoever did this to him just really hated him. Both of his legs are tied up. Each rope is tied to the pillars nearby. He wouldn't have been able to move at all. According to the file, the wounds on his legs are also stab wounds. Does that mean the killer didn't just tie him up, they also stabbed his legs? Why would the killer do something like that? At any rate, it's pretty sadistic. The killer must have been holding a grudge towards him. Or... They might have been torturing him. I mean, if they just wanted to kill him, they could have just stabbed him once in the chest, right? If you disregard the spear in his chest, the other wounds were inflicted for reasons other than killing. Which means the wounds all over his body were from the killer torturing him. If that's the case, what was the killer trying to make Nagito confess? Was it something that could lead to the traitor? Even so. Well, even if this was torture, there's no doubt the killer must have held a deep grudge towards Nagito. Right. Refusing to let him die easily. I can totally understand a dark impulse like that. But even if they held a grudge against him, why would they really have gone this far? There's a cut on his upper left arm. His legs and right hand have stab wounds, but this one looks like a slice. It's probably the reason the wound on his left arm doesn't look that deep compared to his other wounds. Well, regardless, it doesn't change the fact that it's a hideous wound and there's blood everywhere. Hmm, <clears throat> there's something strange. Strange what? Look at the palm of his left hand. I think that blood is from when his left arm was sliced, but... Doesn't the blood splatter look strange? It cuts off right from the middle of his palm. Was he hanging onto that part of the spear wire and that's why that part is clean? Maybe that's as far as the blood could reach when it splattered. Um, well, that would explain the blood in his palm, but... There's something else that's weird? Um, when you flip it over and look at the back of his hand... Wow. Here, there's also blood, but only above the middle joint of each finger. You're right. Why is it only on this part? It's just as I said, right? It's strange. I win. Yeah, sure. You win. But it's definitely strange. What did the killer do to make the blood splatter like this? Nagito's right wrist is tied with rope, but it looks like the tip that rope burned off. Could this be a result of the fire? But that's weird. If the rope is burned off like this... Why are his clothes completely unaffected by the fire when he was so close to the blaze? I guess I'm done with the area surrounding his body. Can't believe I actually investigated such a grisly looking body. Even I'm surprised at myself. Does this mean I'm used to it? My classmate's dead body's right in front of me, and one of my peers is the killer responsible. And I have to investigate his death so I can find the killer. Am I used to something as abnormal as that? That would mean I'm becoming abnormal too.